everyone, Simon and Alex here with Top Tennis Training. And in this video, we're gonna talk about cross court versus a down the line shot and when you should use each one. So let's talk about the main benefits and disadvantages of going cross court. So first of all, going cross will obviously give you a bigger target to aim into. The court is a lot longer cross court than it is down the line because you're going down the diagonal. Next, the net is a little bit shorter down the middle, especially if you're using uh, single sticks. If you're not using single sticks, the difference is a little bit less, but it still dips in the middle. So if you're going cross court, you're going over the lower part of the net, giving you more room for error. And lastly, you've got the recovery. After hitting the ball cross court, if you are hitting from a cross court position, you don't have to recover all the way back. Because the ball is on the other side on, in a cross court position, they now have a lot more angle going cross court rather than down the line. Therefore, your middle changes. You don't have to recover all the way to the middle, but you can keep yourself a little bit more to the right of that middle if you're hitting from the forehand side and protect that angle on the forehand side. Now before we go any deeper into this lesson, if you're serious about improving all aspects of your game, then make sure you have subscribed to the channel and you turn on that notification bell. Now the disadvantages of going cross court is obviously the ball will take a little bit longer to reach your opponent because you're going through the longer part of the court, therefore uh, they have a little bit more time. It also goes through the middle, so it goes through their path and it makes it a little bit easier to get to unless you've gone for an angle. Now compared to the down the line, when you go there, it now doesn't cross the middle, it goes nowhere near the player and it's the more attacking option, giving you the ability to attack into that position, making your opponent run, and if you've hit a big enough shot, it'll be a very difficult shot to retrieve. The disadvantages of going down a line is that you then have to recover past the middle. Your middle will change because now you'll have to protect the angles on the other side. So as I'm running for that forehand and I've hit it down the line, I now have that angle to cover, therefore my recovery has to be past the middle, so I have to be on this side of the middle in order to protect that angle because the middle of the court changes. The middle of the angles changes for me. If I go cross court, as I hit the shot, I can remain here and protect those angles and I'm still in a good enough position. You don't give up your court position when you go cross court. On the down the line, you give up that court position, but you do it for a reason. You do it to play aggressive attacking tennis. And it's also a great way to change direction and do something new. If you've gone into that cross court battle, perhaps a player's already expecting you to hit the ball cross court and you can wrong foot them and go down the line. So it becomes a more aggressive option, but something that may surprise your opponent as well. Sometimes going down a line with a little bit more height is also useful, especially from the forehand side. Because you're going down, down the line, you're hitting into the opponent's backhand. And if you've got a little bit more height on it, it becomes a very difficult shot to play against. And again, it gives you more time to then recover past the middle. So try out the different options of going down a line. Try the harder hit, but remember you're going over the slightly higher part of the net and try the hitting the ball nice and high to give yourself the time to go past the middle and to trouble your opponent. Do you ever feel like you've played the match of your life but still lost? Well, you're probably making this one crucial error. Let's fix it together. Click on the link and download our free tactics PDF. Now one thing to consider is if you're hitting the ball a little bit late, if you're playing against a player who plays maybe at a slightly higher tempo than you or hits the ball quite hard and you end up hitting the balls quite late, it's a good idea to go cross court because even if when you mistime the ball and you hit the ball late, it'll go down the middle which leaves you still in a good position. Whereas if you hit the ball down a line and hit the ball late, the ball is likely to stray wide and you're more likely to lose the point. So always vary your uh, expectation and where you're aiming depending on the kind of ball that you're facing. 
those harder hits go for bigger targets, go for the bigger targets cross court. When you have the time to attack, then you can go for the down the line and then you've got those two options of going either slightly higher or the slightly flatter harder hit into that side. <sighs> The down the line is also a great option to approach uh, against the opponent. Because you're going down the line and you're following with your body into the net, you're already on the right side of the court, making it easier to cover those angles on their passing shot. If you go cross court, I would stay back because the angle down the line becomes more available and if you are coming in after that cross court hit, you're more likely to be passed down the line. Now when you go cross court, you're still trying to do something with that ball. You're not simply just hitting it there. You're either trying to push the player deep, earning yourself the shorter ball, or you're going for more angle, pushing them outside into, that, into the wide position. <sighs> And if they do end up giving it the ball back into the cross court option, you now have more angle, more space to hit into if you do plan on hitting it down the line. And there I earned my down the line shot. I played a deep ball, pushed them back, created that space for the angle, used the angle to get him out wide, and then hit it down the line. And I followed in, in case he would get that ball, I would be in the perfect position to hit a volley put away there. See it almost like earning that down the line shot rather than just going there. And remember, if the opponent is close to the middle, your down the line shot won't be as effective. You want to get them out of position, get more space to hit into, and make them run for that down the line, making that shot a lot more difficult. And it makes it more unlikely for them to expose the angle that they'll now have available to them. <sighs> Now it's totally fine to win that cross court battle. Don't feel like you have to go down the line too early. If the ball isn't right to go there, keep going cross court, keep trying to force the player into that shorter ball or force them outside of the court, giving yourself the space to hit into down the line. Now when you're defending, it's a good idea to have a little bit more height, more shape, and that's when you'll go cross court. Now the shorter ball, a slightly higher ball, is a great way to attack down the line. If the ball was low when you're going there and you're trying to hit down the line, because you're going over that higher part of the net, it makes the shot execution a lot more difficult. So it's a very similar story on the backhand side, but here you can also use the slice to neutralize that point. Remember the cross court shot is all about not allowing your opponent to attack you and trying to earn the opportunity to go down the line. Now a good slice can also do that because you'll keep the ball nice and low, making the other player hit the ball up, which you can then attack with your next shot. And then you can also follow in, of course, to finish off with a volley.
Now when you are going cross court, you're still trying to get that nice height, but here I can also use the slice as an aggressive option to go down the line. By keeping that ball low, it makes the pass extremely difficult. And on fast courts like grass courts or faster hard courts, because you're slicing, the ball will skid, will skid through or shoot through a lot more on the court. And here I was actually able to win the point without even having to hit a volley. But if the ball did come back, I'd be in a great position because I was following in that ball in line with where the ball was going. And just because it's a backhand cross court rally doesn't mean you can't get around it with your forehand. So here I was able to get onto my forehand the first opportunity that I could and then I was able to force play. So now my opponent doesn't know whether I'm gonna go cross court or down the line. I've got my forehand, which is my weapon. So um, I am a bit more dangerous with that shot and I'm still in a good position here court wise. Even if I go cross court, I still have enough time to recover back on this side of the middle. It also gives me options to go down a line if, for example, the ball was a little bit higher. So by giving yourself the chance and moving around the ball to look for that forehand, puts you in a good position if the ball hasn't been hit with enough pace or conviction. Thank you so much for watching the lesson guys. We hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure you tell us what you think of the lesson under this video in the comments below. We read each one and we try to reply to every single person. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from us. Anyway guys, we hope to see you soon on our next video. Wet, long grass, perfect. Ah, oh, it didn't bounce. Ah, oh, sorry. Again. Fudge! Fudge cakes. Ah, let's try it again. I always forget which side it is, right? Because I'm.